morning. I'm Scott Zalowski, Arborist Representative for Drew Tree and Lawn Care. Uh, today what we're doing is removing a very big, large, hazardous dead oak tree. Throwing over wires that we had to have Pico come out and actually sleeve the three phase in order for us to work around them. They weren't able to shut them down. Uh, unfortunately, if they had shut them down, they would have shut down half the electricity in Ch uh, Cheltenham. So it's just another way for us to really be able to work around the wire safely. Uh, this tree is starting to decay and drop large branches in the road, which uh, becomes a hazard for uh, motorists and pedestrians alike. Uh, it's starting to become also it's a big liability for the homeowner. Right now we have Ed Heidel, climber for the crane crew up in the top of the tree. He's currently tied into the ball of the crane and he's setting a strap around the branch up in the top of the tree. He's putting two straps onto one branch. That ensures that if there, there's an issue where one branch were to break and not hold, you still have that other strap on, on the other branch. Right now Ed's repelling down into the tree where he feels comfortable that he can make a cut on the large branch. Starting a saw. He's in a place where he feels comfortable that he can make a, make a cut with um, the appropriate weight that the crane can handle. He's making his, his face cut. Now he's going to start his back cut and you'll see the branch come loose. Almost through the back cut. See the branch starting to come off. The branch is free. See how it comes loose like that, and Dan is able to maneuver it with the crane and pick it up as necessary. He's able to lift it, lift it out of its hole. You notice how Dan's lifting the branch securely over top of the three phase wires, again, that we had covered from Pico. It's bringing it into position to where we're going to have the, the chipper truck set up and we can run it right through the chipper. As it can be lowered down right to our chipper man on the ground. branch is able to be laid down right behind the chipper. There I got a ground man processing the branch, cutting the limbs off so they can be safely cut through the chipper. There goes the branch right through the chipper. 